Welcome to the Three French Hens. I'm Carolyn. I'm Betty. And today we are doing the brown box challenge. And we're doing it because a lot of us don't have room to store like holiday things. And so we wanted to show you how you could liven up for summer and 4th of July, four rooms in your house, fit it all in this box to store it after the holidays. And it's all, the everything for every room is going to be under $150. What we're doing is we're going to show you basic things that we think you need to have in your home because you can change them out for every season. We're going to show you how easy it is to do. So the first thing we're going to start with is the front porch because that's the first thing everybody sees. Well, a lot of us have a pot with a fern and we didn't get these from the store. We went to the Dollar Tree because they holler for a dollar and we're just going to stick in our flags and you can keep these in all summer and they are so, they just make everything look so fun. And so that is a cheap and easy fix to give you a 4th of July look. The next thing we're gonna do is a lot of y'all have a chair on your front porch or a bench, something like that, and you'll throw pillows out there for the summer. Well, in, just a little cheap, easy way to make it look 4th of July or, you know, really for all summer, is we made a big bow and we're just gonna tie it on to the pillow. I mean, just kinda, will give your, your uh, front porch that look of, you know, patriotism and happy 4th of July. Actually, I'm gonna tie this one. Yeah. <laughs> that makes more sense. You need to make sure when you make your bow, or when you come in and let us make you one, and you tell us what you're going to do with it so we can get the, the length of the string. And we have so many uh, different ribbons for this season, for the summer season. You can pick out any ribbon that you want. Just do a shoelace bow so when you're finished, you can just untie and stick it in your box. Fluff it up, and there you you dress up your pillow, and it's just so cute. Okay, so the next thing, and everybody needs something like this, we have on the door just a fern wreath. This wreath can be used almost every season. You can start with it in uh, January with some some uh, cardinals in it, with some you know winter looking things, and then you can move on to tulips. What we're going to do today. It's just that we've done an embellishment for the summer. You can keep this up from June through, you know, through September when you move into a different look. But we've done this and we're just going to tie it onto the wreath and you can switch it out. It's great if you don't have room to store a whole bunch of wreaths. And you can just, uh, you just tie it on, fluff it up a little bit. And your porch is pretty well good to go. And if you hold your tongue just right, you can do it and not even have to take the wreath down. Yeah, which we're going to try to do today. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you can and sometimes you can. And there's just a different grouping of our, bow, our ribbon that we have that we can make into bows for y'all. You might want to do yours all the same or you might like a variety. It really doesn't matter. You're just trying to be patriotic and give your wreath a little life. Good no, I didn't get it tied. Can I tie it for you? Well. As long as you're not looking at my rear end. <laughs> I'll hold the wreath and I'll let you tie. Okay, here I got it. There we go. Okay, and then we need to pluck it just a little because you want your flowers showing. And there you go. You're good to go. And that's pretty festive. So we'll tell you our cost. We we bought those at the dollar store, and they call it for a dollar. So those are three dollars. Our bow is twelve, and our embellishment is twenty-two. So now we're going to move into your entry hall because you know once you get in through the front door and they think it's looking pretty festive, you're going to want to wow them in your entry. So let's go into the front to the entry hall, and we're carrying the brown box with us. Everything that we need is in the box. Okay. So this is 
our entry. We're, we're using this as our entry table. A lot of y'all will have a smaller entry table or a large one. It doesn't really matter. What we've put on here is most entry halls, you need a, <laughs> you need a lamp on your entry table. And most of you keep a runner on your table. These are just things that you, you have at home. If you don't have a lantern, it is probably the best purchase you can make for changing out for all the different holidays. Um, because it's just so versatile. You can use it in an entry, on your kitchen table, on your mantle, all these different places. So the only thing we're gonna do in here is we're gonna add a small embellishment to this and then a little sign. So first thing we're gonna add is the embellishment. When you buy a lantern, make sure you buy one that's large enough. Oh, no yes. dinky lanterns. That's because right. if you buy one too small, you can't ever embellish it and uh, they're just a lot easier to move from place to place if they've got a little size on them. You can do one on your coffee table, on your kitchen table, on your bar. And we have They're probably very versatile. We probably have 10 different types of lanterns for you to choose from. And then we added, oh, we forgot the candle inside the lantern, we which did. we normally would have one in there. And then we just added a USA sign. And there's your holiday. Are you going to put it in front or are you going to leave it there? But well, you could do it a couple of different, different ways. You and I mean, it it, depending on what you have on your entry, I mean, if you've got some greenery, you can string it along. There are all sorts of things you can do, but this is just an easy fix to give you a 4th of July look. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move into what would be like your living room, and we're going to add some things to a mantle. If you don't have a mantle, but you've got kind of a buffet or a side table in your living room, you can use it for that. So I'm grabbing the brown box. Watch the cord. So most all of us on our on our mantles will have a, a good thing to have is a set of candlesticks. That's an essential item to have because you can do everything in the world with that. We have an arrangement on the table on the mantle or table, and all we're going to do is really simple. And you know, you can add all that you want, but for storage purposes and cost purposes, we thought we're gonna show you how to do it without having to spend a lot of money. So we have these great stakes. They are, there's, there's firecrackers, there's stars, there's all sorts of things, and you can do anything. I think you've got it, hang on the, there we go. Okay. I think it needs to go in between all three of those corn things. We obviously didn't practice before we started. <laughs> We've never been long on dress rehearsal. But, but that's the at beauty. your house, you need to play with it as well. And you don't have to get things perfect the first time. You can play with it, and if you don't like it, move it. And now I have the sticks caught in the bells. <laughs> This may be more of a challenge than I anticipated. There! There oh, we go! Yay! Success! You know, you could have these other two little flags in there if you wanted to. So the next thing we're bringing out is we have, these are so cute. They're $7 each and they're star, red, white, and blue stars. And we thought, just set them around on your mantle or your table and That'll just give you a little, whoops, oops, oops. <laughs> and you have to play with this stuff. Don't think it's gonna just work the first time. Or if it does, you're a lucky, lucky person. This is reality video. Yeah. Perfection, nah. You can put them together kind of like that, or you can come over here and do one, which is probably what I would do. Go ahead and set them up a more. Yeah, and that just, that just gives you a little dab of your 4th of July in your living area. Um, I mean, it just makes it fun for the summer and the kids to have kind of that bright holiday and patriotic thing going on all summer. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the kitchen table or the dining room table. So, we're watching our step. <laughs> Because we're old and not very coordinated. Right. Okay. And let's 
bring the box. Okay. And this is where everybody spends a lot of their time is the kitchen and the, the breakfast room or the dining room. So in our box, we're going to pull out a runner. And a lot of people, okay, so on your table, one of the one of the greatest things to have in the whole world is a tray. If you don't have a tray, this one's like $38. And we use it for every holiday, every seasonal thing. We put candlesticks in an, an arrangement. And this is a $48 arrangement that we're going to, um, you know, spring up for, or not spring up, but we're going to make it look summery. And a lot of people already have a runner on their table. Well, instead of, you know, putting it up or anything, if it's just a neutral color, we're going to layer it. You get a lot more bang for your buck if you'll layer your fabrics. Makes it just look so much more uh, complete. And so Betty loves to layer her runners on top of the uh, tray. Just kind of gives you another depth, another texture. And this one's really fun because it gives you your little festive holiday. It's so cute. But when you're finished, you can just take it out, fold it up, put it back in the box. Yep. And then go back to your regular centerpiece. Or bring out your early fall or however you do it. Do you want to glam up your centerpiece before I put the pants back on? So on? what we're doing for the... Can I lay the flags for that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, is this all of it? Uh-huh. So all we did is we took a um, a grouping of our geraniums, and these are $10 a bunch, and I cut them up. And so instead of having to store a summer centerpiece or whatever, I am just going to add this to the one that we have. And that way, when this season is over, you can put sunflowers in this. You can just do about anything you want. While she does that, I'm going to set the candlesticks back on there. We like to do things in uneven numbers. And if you'll light your candles when you're having guests or just dinner, the kids will love it. And it just... It's so fun. fun. And so we have two more Dollar Tree flags. So we thought, well, let's just add them to this. That is a very easy inexpensive way to spruce up your breakfast room and if it's connected to your kitchen it's lots of fun we have one other thing we want to show you we have these frames in the store that um, they make seasonal attachments to put on it so you can have every season and and it's just the size of the attachment is all you have to do and this is our summer one be so cute on your kitchen counter or your island let's see is it hang on that deal? Yeah. yeah. There you go. That and the attachments are $14. The and there's your look for your uh, kitchen. So there you go, girls. We've done basically four rooms for $150. It all fits in a brown box. It can store in the closet, the side of the closet that your husband uses, because he does not need all that space. And you're good to go. Thanks for joining us at the hands. Come see us.